Civil Engineering Academy. All right, welcome to Civil Engineering Academy. Today we're solving a problem from water resources. The problem states water flows by gravity from Lake A to Lake B through a system of cast iron pipes. Find the flow rate in CFS, cubic feet per second, of the system. The system characteristics are given. We're given length, diameter, friction factor, and a minor loss equivalent length. We're also given the reservoir, the lake system here, and the lake system here with elevation. Elevation A at 440, elevation B at 370. So how are we going to solve this? The first thing that I would look at is we are given a friction factor. What equations use that? And the first one that pops in my head is the darcy weisbach equation. And if you're using your civil engineering reference manual, that's equation 17.22 which states that the head loss due to friction equals your friction factor times your length times velocity squared divided by 2 times your diameter times gravity. Now this length is the length of pipe but that also needs to include the minor losses. And the minor losses are all the little elbows that are in the line or any, anything that's causing a loss um, it adds an equivalent length to the pipe. So they're telling you what that is. Sometimes you have to solve for that. So uh, let's look at this equation. We know F, friction factor. We know length. We do not know velocity. We know diameter. We know gravity. So we have two unknowns here. So the next thing we need to find out is what HF is, the friction, uh, head loss due to friction. So the next equation I'm going to look at is equation 17.66 which is the Bernoulli equation that's been extended and includes all the losses so let's write this down so we got pressure 1 over gamma plus velocity 1 squared over 2g plus z1 equals p2 over gamma plus velocity 2 squared over 2g plus z2 plus head losses due to friction. And it's listed in the book as EF, and it's just a little language thing. So anyway, this is head loss due to friction. Now, because we're open to the atmosphere at each of these locations, the pressure is zero, and because the size of the reservoirs, reservoirs are so huge, we neglect the velocity. So this goes to zero, this goes to zero, this goes to zero, this goes to zero. We're left with these. So <clears throat> if we solve for the head loss due to friction, we're going to get Z2, or Z1, sorry, minus Z2, which basically equates to 440 minus 370, which is equal to 70 feet. So 70 feet of head loss due to friction. So now we know HF. Let's go ahead and plug everything in here. So this is going to equate to, well, let's just rewrite the whole thing. So we've got 70 feet is equal to 0 0.03 times the total loss, which is 2,800 plus the 60 feet times velocity squared divided by two times their diameter which is given in inches so this is 21 inches I'm just going to do a quick conversion 21 inches in a foot to get it into feet and that's all multiplied by gravity which is 32.2 feet per second squared so what does all of that get me it gets me a velocity squared equal to 91.2 Oops, 91.9. So my velocity is equal to 9.59 feet per second. And then we just plug it into our normal equation for flow rate, which is Q, which is equal to your velocity times your area. So the velocity we just solved for was 9.59. And the area... We can do a quick calculation. Pi fourths times diameter. I'm going to do a quick conversion to get it feet squared. 
and that gives me 2.405 so I'll multiply this by 2.405 and that equates to 23 CFS which is our answer and the answer is B so that was a good good equation good good question to ask about um, using two different equations to solve for the flow rate of this system so Head on over to civilengineeringacademy.com for more tips and tricks on solving the PE exam. Thanks, man.